All right, hey everybody, welcome to another Q and A for the SF Indie Fest 2023, the 25th year of the San Francisco Independent Film Festival. Um, we're lucky to have some of the filmmakers here with Bangla Town, the director Deshad, and actresses Ade and Sasha. Hey guys, thanks for checking in. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Pleasure's all ours. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Um, where are you guys calling in from? Where do you live right now? Uh, I'm coming I'm from sorry. London. Sorry, you guys. Ladies first. Sorry, ladies first. Go on, Deshad. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Ade. I'm in Cambridge in the UK. And uh, I am currently in Norwich, but from London. <laughs> and I'm in uh, sunny South London at the moment, yeah. And we're in sunny San Francisco at the moment. I've been getting a lot of rain here. But uh, if you're at this Q&A right now, you just watched the wonderful film, funny film, Bangletown. Um, and it's set in London, correct? That's right, yeah. It's uh, set in uh, like a fictional part of East London, loosely based on the actual Bangla town, which is a like an immigrant community uh, full of Bang British Bangladeshis. But as the film sort of talks about, it's slowly changing. And um, yeah, I guess like in lots of places, even in America, uh, gentrification is taking place and the place is changing. And did that have something to do with the inspiration or the creation of this idea? Where did the idea come from? Oh, okay. So uh, the idea, well, it's basically, um, I did a few short films uh, several years ago, uh, which did really well on the sort of um, the indie circuit, got a few prizes and festival awards and stuff like that. And um, basically the elements of those ideas were, you know, basically what, you know, later became uh, Bangla Town. Um, mm. Uh, Have I you was made working a on your film before. Is this your first feature film? This is this is my first feature. Very Woo! first feature. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> well done. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the the lovely ladies above as well. I mean, like, yeah, great team, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely hard work. Very hard work. Um, but yeah, so you it, it's basically you took these short films and made it into a feature film. Yeah, yeah. So basically, um I'd made two short films that um, have these elements about, you know, filmmakers making films. So it's a film within a film, as you get to see. And it's also about, you know, struggling artists going against stereotypes, um, going against tradition, you know, about change. Um, I'm interested in that as a theme, uh, working in, you know, the stories that I make. And um, yeah, that's basically it about, you know, uh, good and bad and what, what choices we make in life. Um, so I, I yeah, did, I did very... enjoy how you added those changes to the opening uh, F for Freedom TV show. Uh, you know where the main characters and the even the extras changed to the very end. That was that was that was great. Yeah, yeah, very. Um, I think it's a uh, nice little touches. Hopefully, um, the uh, the audience will enjoy seeing things like that. Hopefully, it bears repeat viewing as well. <laughs> And then how did these two fine actresses come to be involved? Was it a casting director? Talk a little bit about that, all three of you. Uh, so, Deshad, how did you put out the, uh, how did you get these ladies attached? Okay, so this is a like a super, super low budget uh, project. And uh, the way I work with most of my projects have been that I, I work with people that I know that I've worked with. And um, I usually, you know, just get them in sort of like a, uh, a troop of people that I like working with. Like I, I write stories and characters for them. Uh, luckily, I'd worked with Sasha before on a crazy musical. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Like a, a year. Start. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Sasha was in there, and I don't know. I, we just got talking. We were filming the show. We we weren't make. Um, so I wasn't uh, directing the the musical, but we got talking because we were doing the filming of the musical. So we got in touch with Sasha over there and pretty much the rest of the crew are all people that I've worked with apart from Ade, who is literally the only person we auditioned. Um, so oh. basically, yeah, Ade, that, that's who's the connection. But there is a connection between you and the gang, isn't it? 
Yeah, so I basically met Alan at a random improv group that I went to once. And then one day I posted some of my showreel on Instagram. He saw it, remembered, oh yeah, she's an actor. And then just messaged me, oh, do you want to audition for my friend's film? And I was like, yeah, cool. So just networking. Right on. <laughs> but it was I'm, funny I'm... because during the audition, like there was just no response from like Dish or Alan to my performance. And so I left thinking, okay, they hate me. <laughs> <laughs> So I was we're, thrilled when I got the part. <laughs> we were gobsmacked, gobsmacked by it. Um, I mean, yeah, it's literally, uh, we have a tiny, tiny, small film crew. Uh, that's why the uh, the end credits are the way they are, because literally, you know, like uh, on most feature films, you just get, you know, the credits just keep going, right? They just keep going. There's, on ours, it's just boop, because <laughs> there's literally about like seven, eight people on the crew that did everything. So the Alan that Ade is talking to is, he was like a camera assistant. He was a floor manager. He was um, third AD, first AD. I mean, like, yeah, it's just everyone. Yeah, it's a very yeah. small, small well, sort of team. That, yeah. that, um, that chemistry, uh, you know, transpired through the film. It looked like you guys were having a fun. Day and Sasha, you guys were wonderful to watch. You, you, were, you were funny, um, as was intended. Uh, do you have comedic chops? Is that kind of what your preference is? Because it was really enjoyable to to go along with you and, and laugh with you guys, your characters. Um, I love comedy. I think it's probably one of the things that I have worked in the most. Ah. But I think what made this one extra special is when I came in, I thought I was playing this really hard faced detective. And I came in and I think I did the first couple of scenes and Dish kind of pulled me aside and was like, so she's very serious and you know, she's authoritative, but can, <laughs> we, can we make her, fun can we make her sarcastic can we make can we give her an edge so then i turned around and just split the whole character on its head and uh and then yes roberts was yeah it, 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 it's lovely too for me you're the laugh she brought about me and the enjoyment you brought on me was it was because of your subtle delivery it wasn't like you you know were over the top make people laugh it, it was your counterpoint to the other actress you were with a lot of the time what was her name uh, so sajila yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you were like that. You were like hard edged, hard nosed, but <laughs> but it it was it made me laugh. It's Sajila was so great to work with. She's a great comedian, and she does a lot of stand up. So coming in wow. and working with her was fantastic. So I've never done stand up. So she was a little bit of a mentor that way. But I think what we found along the way was she kept eating loads of food, and I thought great. <laughs> eat all this food and then every time I'd go to put something in my mouth she'd interrupt me and tell me to get on with the work <laughs> and that was brilliant. that was yeah, real so, uh yeah so Gila couldn't make this one but yeah no I mean trust us she's she's crazy to work with um I mean like the whole thing that you know bless bless Ade and bless Sasha because we had like no time we literally like filming was like we're done in hours like we'd, we'd get there I'd throw a few pieces of paper at them and say, that's the script. And yeah, I mean, it, it, it was, yeah. yeah. Well, well, they but say like casting is half of it or 80% of the whole making the movie, right? Um, so you casted well, well done, sir. Uh, Ade, yeah. what about you? Are you, are you a comedian? I, <laughs> I, I'm not a I'm not a paid comedian, but I'm kind of always um laughing. I'm always making my like family and friends laugh and just kind of that naturally kind of uh like bubbly kind of situation where it just things just come out that way. Right. Um so being able to be Abby and kind of just have a blank slate that I could just build on. Cause I remember um I think Dish wanted her to have like a London accent and I just naturally just come out with I've got more of a Yorkshire accent because I'm from Leeds. And so I think like that contrast is funny enough in itself, having a Yorkshire girl just going about London town. Right. Um, right. But yeah, so I think uh just being able to like build up Abby and just have her in my own like light way um just kind of worked out. Yeah. It's yeah fun. It's it's funny. Funny. The performances uh you two your performance were natural. I mean you were very um you know relaxed and natural in front of the camera. Uh and so I love that about that as well. You're very fun to watch. Oh thank you. No, I mean I'm just it, it's like I can I can see a little bit though in your personalities getting to know you right now like oh yeah. Um good, <laughs> good casting. 
So, yeah, so that, that now right. yeah. you guys are fun, but um, you know, was Deshad, you know, a tough, you know, whippersnapper? Was he something <laughs> to work with or? What are you gonna say? Um, what are they gonna say? This is lovely. This is lovely to work with because you do get a lot of freedom. There would be kind of like oh we've just like changed this scene it's kind of like oh okay no problem take it and take it in your stride and then it, it worked out really really well and then like there were good there were like good notes and then he was confident of you know he was confident to let you know when you'd got it right and it was like yeah that's good and you and because for me on set I'll be like are you sure because I can do it again I can do it a different way You're like are you sure are you are you happy and he's like yeah yeah happy so like yeah so like clear, but you still had freedom. Can't complain. Great. Yeah, I, I think Dish really made me feel safe to experiment with my character on set. Every time I got to set, he was so welcoming and everyone was calm and he just took charge of the entire team. Uh, everyone was there because they believed in Dish's vision. And obviously with indie film, it is, we're doing it for the love of film. We're not, we're not doing it because um, it's like a multi-million pound budget mm -hmm. paying us millions of pounds with that because we love the concept and we yeah. love playing these characters and that's all because of Dish. So yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's an Indian budget. Uh, they're too, they're too kind. You gotta, you know, Jason wants to, to hear the. Yeah, the I, want, I want some Dish. I want carnage. TMZ type stuff. Yeah, yeah, oh, the carnage, <laughs> the terrible but, stuff. But yeah, this is a, this is an indie budget, indie level project. So you know, you have to kind of compensate that, not compensate, but. All sets should be fun and safe, and uh, you want to be there because you're not go going there for the pay, right? Um, <laughs> so, what attracted you to to this? Besides, you know, what are some other elements that attracted you to this work, this project? Well, for me, um, this uh, I really like. Wasn't the money? It wasn't the money. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit the money. The money. I thought the money was decent, but I'm broke anyway. So. <laughs> well, Sasha, uh, Sasha told me how much she got paid a day. Do you want me to tell you how much she got paid? No. Yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know. A hey. lot of money. <laughs> You're naughty. <laughs> Checks in the post. Oh, just, on a piece, just send me it privately in the chat. <laughs> PayPal. <laughs> So, so, but uh, what, what is it about like this project or just independent projects, you know, cause I'm an independent filmmaker too. And uh, y y accepting a project can be a little bit like, uh Oh, what are we getting into? Um, will this yeah. project get finished? For example. <laughs> well, this was actually the first um, feature film where I've, ha where, what I've been in, where I've had like a main role and a lead. So for me, it was kind of like a bit of an experiment to see if I can like take on that responsibility in a film and be amazing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, for me, I wanted to do it just because I wanted to kind of, I liked the script and I wanted to take on that challenge and work with loads of different people because hearing the title Bangladesh, I'm like, Oh, like more ethnicities to work with. Like, and I will happily like dive into that. Right. Cool. How, think, Tasha, how about you? Um, well, yeah, I second that Ade actually, because the amount of people from different backgrounds who are working on this film is phenomenal. And I think it's really awesome. For me, it was the fact that it was two leading female cop detectives who were actually, you know badass cops and I absolutely loved embracing that role um I've not seen too many films where it's led by two female police detectives so to be able to play one I thought this is great for the first time I get to do something that I've not seen before yeah. um, as well as the storyline I mean Dish said it earlier it is about change and it's it's progressive and it actually highlights without being political at all because it's hilarious it highlights a lot of topics that are relevant today and it flips them on their heads and puts it in a way that everyone understands and can find yeah. humor yeah good points uh Deshad, uh, was that uh deliberate uh probably wasn't deliberate uh attempt to go get a diverse cast uh as it is in the script but was it challenging to do so um or did, where, did your locations and kind of your geography provide like that? Um, yeah, no, no, it's kind of the, the flip side was more, you know, I was semi worried that, you know, to a mainstream audience, I think it's a very mainstream film with a mainstream appeal. Uh, I really hope that, you know, any sort of background audience, audience from any background should be able to enjoy it. It's a real, you know, enjoyable comedy, but I was worried that, um, it might not be seen that way 
um, because we had such a diverse background. I mean, it's called Bangla Town, so I don't know if you know people would know about the Bangladeshi British, you know, experience and you know what does that mean? Would people think, oh, that's not that film's not for me? But I tried to, you know, keep everyone. I think it's just the way I make films and the way I, the people I know, the people I I work with, um, they're just from all types of backgrounds and. But yeah, what, what the guys are saying is it's not it's really not a, a statement. It's not a political film. We're not, I mean, it was literally it's a fun story. And I just picked people that would, you know, go against the grain. So whenever you have a situation, I would like to make a, a scene that you haven't seen before in, in, in any other film. I mean, um, like, like the like the world's slowest car chase. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally like. Stuff and, and work work with the limitations so i knew there's no way we would ever get you know any sort of budget to do like a um a car chase of any description so we go with the the slowness of it um we well, go with the lack of budget and resources you know you tapped into that to aid in the story like it so you didn't try and cover it up you you worked with what you had and that actually benefited your movie yeah, although, I, you know, I'll be honest with you, you know, it did start off differently, like the final fight, the final boxing scene, no no spoilers, but the final boxing scene in the original scripts, you know, my first few versions was it was going to be a big, you know, mega stadium full of thousands of people, all of that stuff. And then basically it slowly, as it dawns on me and how, how much I've got to spend, you just go down and down and down. But you still try and work with, you know, as a director, you still have to keep the film engaging, active and moving. I mean, like, another good example is um, when I found out how much it costs to film people inside a car. Right. So you've got to, you know, have you, you know, you, you'll all have seen scenes in films with people in cars talking. Sure, that's easy, right? No, it's, it's really expensive. Uh, well, not really expensive, but for an indie filmmaker, it's expensive. So as soon as I found out how much a day rate for, you know, hiring a vehicle was I was like okay let's find another way of getting people from A to B and that's why you know the moving camera gets in there because it it basically serves instead of getting people you know driving shots you you just move move the camera right, right. so yeah and, and it, it's it, you know uh, for an indie filmmaker uh, the challenge is expensive time wise too time is kind of a, an expense that you gotta deal with right Oh yeah, yeah. That I mean, like we we literally had hours to film, you know, things that should take weeks. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the the police cars were phenomenally expensive to hire, so we could only get them for you know a couple of hours at a time. Right. Um, we double up things, and like I think, you know, the 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 truth is, I it did make the the cast a bit crazy with crazy schedules here and there, and refilming things here and there. And again, thank you, ladies, for you know your patience with the projects but um yeah i mean we, we yeah, yeah. We, uh, ladies what was friends. um was there any kind of standout moments that you'd like to share on set uh, anecdotal or challenging what were some of the kind of uh, you know vibes during production um i think what was what was really interesting was a lot of the cast because the cast was so big Sometimes I would arrive on set and I wouldn't know who someone was at all. I would have never seen them before, yet they are one of the leading roles in the film. And they didn't know that I was, I was in it as the detective and I didn't know who they were. And then we were thrown into this scene together and okay. somehow Dish made us all gel together in this scene and make it look like we'd known each other from day one. But I was a latecomer. So um, Ade, I think I met you for the first time when we were filming in that garage. And I was like, hi, I'm Sasha, what's your name? You're like, I'm Ade. I didn't know who you were playing. I didn't know what was going on. And then by the time we finally watched the film, we were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, like, it was pretty bad in terms of, you know, I mean, when they say make a, an indie film, they all say, you know, a few actors, just a few locations, you know, try and work with, and I, yeah, I, small I don't know. cast, no, no kids, <laughs> no car chases, all the things you did, don't do that. I just, I don't, it's the way, the way I'm, I'm viewing it, not that I, I'm hoping it's my last film, but like make it like it's your last film. And I just don't, I don't want to go and be old and, you know, 80 years old, 90 years old and, and, you know, sit on my rocking chair or whatever it is and go, oh, 
oh, what, maybe, maybe just why didn't I try? I just, I just want to say, look, I tried, even if I made the worst film ever, at least I tried and I'm, I'm, I'm good with that, you know? And uh, yeah. yeah, I definitely, I've, I threw everything. We, you know, we've thrown everything at it. Like we've got police chases, stunts, you know, SWAT teams and, yeah. you know, things that shouldn't be in indie films. And, you know, you can see it's rough around the edges. I won't, you know, lie to you and say it's like the most, you know, highest quality, you know, stuff, but it's, it's really got a heart of gold. I think it's definitely, um, you know, uh, the, the soul of the film definitely shines through, I think. Agreed. Ade, did you want to answer a question about just some uh, shared experiences on set? Uh, yeah, like uh, one thing I absolutely loved uh, the idea of from reading the script was that we were going to be filming in a shop. And there, because I just thought, oh my God, it's like a real location. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and when we did, I, I forgot the fact that I'd be like holding a gun and having like a balaclava on. And then I just have this whole thing of like, I'm like, being really squeaky and like screeching at people to like give me the money because I like because of <laughs> like reasons I feel like I'm doing like spoilers oh. um but yeah like that was really really fun and also getting to work with Aiden was really cool as well because I've never worked with um someone shorter than me I guess um <laughs> child Aiden, actor, Aiden was a child right yeah yeah, yeah. um I, who just casually grew <laughs> as they do um <laughs> But yeah, like it was really cool, like, you know, getting to like know him and just kind of like chatting and vibing because obviously like I figured in the in the story, you know, I've known this kid forever. So I didn't want it to be like awkward and like I'm like, you know, child at heart kind of thing. So I figured like so we got on fine and he's super like mature anyway mm -hmm. and like all um all professional. Right. So yeah, that was really <laughs> really really nice it's just like you know get to work with a kid get to film in a shop I'm like this is great so oh and even like being filmed like walking down the street this sounds so basic but I just loved all of it basically yeah the joys of being on a movie set well and it sounds like the shot and uh and you guys uh you talked about gelling and just that the 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 energy was um you know it's a good energy on set people wanted to be there right? the fun yeah. comes through you know yeah, yeah, I mean, we, 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 well, um, like, goodbye food. <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean, but it was, um, I guess you guys experienced the good bits on set. I guess that the tough one was like just, you know, battling with low budget and finding places and working. I mean, I'm, unfortunately, and you'll probably hear it with a lot of your, you know, indie filmmakers, I had to do quite a lot of the different tasks from everything from obviously directing to phone calling people making call sheets making the sandwiches you know all of that stuff so it's it's it was it was tough i mean um yeah. definitely when it when it when it sort of finished i was like oh my god that was yeah wow it's exhausting. wow yeah yeah <laughs> well you got um, together and you got a lovely film and it, it shows it comes across and it was just a, a you know a fun little romp through east london uh with <laughs> all these the various personalities and uh different storylines so well done thank you is, is there anything we got to wrap it up here anything you guys want to add that i didn't ask you or anything you want to share before we part um i am so so proud of this film from start to finish the whole experience was just amazing and i'm really really pleased that you guys have got us into your festival and that you've enjoyed the film because i absolutely loved being a part of it so thanks for watching thank you yeah, I second all of that and just I'm just really grateful to Dish and to Alan just for like getting me on board because it was just such an amazing experience that lasted like a year, you know, throughout COVID sort of thing, like kept me going that I was like, I had this to like hold on to, you know, when like the world yeah. was burning. So, yeah. Right Love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we really hope the um, this is our you know first American fe film festival, so we really hope the American audiences appreciate <laughs> our British sense of humour. Um, yeah. We think it's um, you know we, it should be universal, and hopefully, you know, any background should enjoy the film. Um, and I guess uh, in terms of filmmaking, hopefully, it's you know inspirational to show that you know people with very limited resources, and and you know, uh, I'm sure you hear this a lot with. Uh, independent filmmaking, um, you know, it's it's tough, but 
you can do it. You can get there in the end. So yeah, definitely. Hopefully it's uh, inspirational and funny for people. I believe it will be to our audiences here in San Francisco, at least, if not the rest of the country. Uh, and hey, if people want to get in touch with you, if you're willing to share, how can they reach out and connect with you guys uh, real quick? You don't have to, but if you're interested. Yeah, sure. Uh, um, sure. Yeah, me first. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am on Instagram, and my Instagram is the Sasha Latoya. Okay. Today. Okay. I am also on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, um, Spotlight as at Ade Louise. So it's A-D-E-I and then Louise, L-O-U-I-S-E. And yeah, find me on there, DM me, connect with me. Right on. In the chat. <laughs> Um, just, yeah, find out more about, we're, we're like a filmmaking collective, uh, imotion.com. So it's I-M-O-T-I-O-N.com. It's got all our projects and, um, yeah, get in touch with us. It'll have all the links to different social media and emails and stuff. Right on. Well, well done, you three. Thank you for joining us today. It was a pleasure meeting you. I hope someday I can meet you in person. If you're ever in San Francisco, please reach out to me, to us. And uh, hey, audiences, thanks for watching. Uh, this Q&A for Bangletown is part of the SF Indie Fest 2023. Uh, all right, filmmakers, see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.